time to be a, make a family, dude. <laughs> prior, prior Seriously. to that. Prior Seriously, man. <laughs> Seriously, man. You yeah, could yeah. probably trade any kid. You know, hey, oh, <laughs> hey, mijo, yeah, yeah. I, I remember you. No, prior to all those groups, I had a family and. And also, yeah. not to mention, I forgot to tell you that oh. I got my own radio show. That's oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Where's that at? That's at uh, thumprecords.com. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's so an internet radio internet kind of thing? Internet radio now. We're going to work on the, uh, we're trying to go where Art LeBeau is going, you know? Yeah, okay. That. So, I mean, he's got about five, ten years left, and we want to take over when he's You want to finish him off? I want to talk to him, okay. of course, get his approval. We'll, we'll get rid of him. He sounds like a mafioso, huh? <laughs> We're going to talk to Art in the Bowl. We're, We're going to have a nice talk. conversation. We're Give him an offer he can't Give refuse. Him an offer. Yeah, he's going to sign right here. He's That's gonna it. Sign. Oh uh, my he's God. a great guy. Great guy. We're going to uh, actually work with him, hopefully, in the near future. Uh, uh, Alan Beck, of course, with his shows. Oh, God. Alan Beck, I remember that name oh, for many years, yeah, man. Yeah, great, great guys. But I got a uh, Rocky Padilla show. It's on thumprecords.com. So you guys you. Can When's it on. air? It's actually anytime. It's the internet, so you can click on it now. Mm -hmm. You can go to uh, www.thumprecords.com. And you're there? Yeah, I'm there. Not live, but. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's like kind Modern of Modern technology, eh? <laughs> yeah. It's Rocky Padilla, almost live. Almost live. That's great. And then the biggest thing I got going on besides, I mean, everything I do is big now with all these bands that I, I, I give my 100% to. It's called the WEU. And this is very important to people that want to go to school, get some education. Right. It's the World Education University. It's, uh, you can find it at the WEU.com, and that's free education online. Cool. I'm a part of that, and it's a big, uh, big thing going on in the internet. It's going to be hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, now, know. when you say free education, what are we talking about? We're talking about getting online, clicking, and putting your name there, telling the courses you want to take, and it's free. Well, anything that's what I'm saying. Courses. What are we talking about? We're High talking school, about anything. college. High school, college. We're talking about anything that has to do with schooling. You want to learn. I want to be a heart surgeon. Let me go on the internet and find out. Yeah, you got to take classes to do that. You can you can take the prep class. You can take all the classes for free online. Wow, that's great, man! That's a round of applause for that, man. Yes, that's, that's good. Education is a big Education's thing. Education is a big thing. Yes, and that's the weu.com. I'm done. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I'm shocked. Now what do we say next? What else do we no, say? No, no, no. So, but bottom line is, uh, oh, also Mr. D. I'm working with a poster there. A good friend of mine. He's a rapper. His name is Mr. D. You can check out that poster. He's got an album out right now. Can you, you get can that? Pick that up. Let's see if he gets it. Hold on. He's, he's eating something. Oh, he's drinking something. Hold on. Oh, it's, it's Who's the camera? camera. We're on that camera? Okay, we'll hold it this way. There you go. Hi, guys. You got it now. Yeah, it's called Mr. D and Rocky Padilla, Smooth Oldies. And uh, he also backs up Frank V from Proper Dose. I don't know if you remember him. It's uh, Southland. Good friends of mine. Also working with my, my son. He's uh, with the SGB Riders. That's another thing cool. we're doing. You got, you got a lot of things going, man. I don't oh, know about man, you. I'm trying, man. I'm just trying, trying. That's good, though, man. But Keep see, busy, you know? No, you have to be. You have yeah. to be, man. You know what it is? I uh, I stopped working. It's been a while since I've been working my regular job. So, uh, you know, I'm not making too much money now, but I'm, I'm donating a lot of my time. That's what well, I'm doing. Well, you never do, you know, it, it, when it comes down to doing stuff that you That's do. That's it. I love it, you know, no matter what it takes. Like, I'm not exactly a millionaire here, as you can tell. Right. Well, you know. We do what we do because we love it, right? Yeah, well, that's what they tell me. Every, <laughs> every time I go to the bank, you must love it, huh? You must love it. <laughs> I go, sure. Yeah, I love it. You know, I love I'll it. take it in quarters, please. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, but that's, no, that's great, man. Well, you know, like I said, uh, you know, we are doing uh, some events on the 20th for the Memories of Almani. Mm. So if you're available, man. Yeah, let me uh, check. I think I'm in town. If I'm in town, I will make two or three of them. I have to. I'll Here, do what I have me, to do. Me, let me get you a, a fresh one. Somebody, I think... Jamie was writing <laughs> graffiti, tagging on it. But that's the thing. We're doing it for our uh, council member, uh, Victoria Vicky Martinez. And uh, oh, okay. it's the 100th anniversary of Almani, so it's homage to the American Legion Hall. Wow. So she was looking for some bands, you know, and, and Pobrecita, you know, she had no budget to work with because the city is too busy, you know, trying to, you know, take care of a, a house and trying to keep things going. Right. You know, and they're just opening up a, a low-income housing for homeless vets. Oh, okay. So they've been devoting a lot of the time on that. So, you know, that's taking up a lot of its energy. And it's a very good city. And they're working on a wellness campaign right now to uh, get our young people uh, healthy yes. and, and lean and mean, just like Rocky. You have my support. You have my support. Whatever you need, you know, for vets, of course, that's even a better thing. Well, that's that's the way we have a veteran show that we do. And we were mentioning about you and they got all happy. You know, we did oh, a no, shout no, out no. earlier hey, today. I'm, I'm here. I'm here for whatever they need. If I can do it, I will. Well, that sounds great, man. Well, you know, any other information? No, yeah, you see, probably I, I, wrote I, us a whole story here. No, no. <laughs> Okay, but I got a big thing going on Saturday after that. Ray Everything Cariote, gets bigger. It gets bigger. Mark Lopez and Mariana, we're going to be over there at the American Legion Hall in Hacienda Heights. 
they call it industry, but it's Hacienda Heights. Post 75 is what it is. Okay. It's on Clark Avenue and 7th. Um, it's going to be big. We're going to be there from 8. As soon as I get done with this Montebello Inn, uh, Pablo, I'm running over there. My band's going to be there. Cool Breeze will be there, so it's going to be dancing all night long until 1 in the morning. Wow. So Mariana will be there. It's, uh, we're celebrating her birthday, too. So uh, we're going to be doing that big thing over there. I'm going to be videotaping. I'm going to get it to you so you can show it. Yeah, I was going to say, because see, here's the problem I have. You know, I've been at this, uh, gosh, 22 years since I worked at Buena Vision, and I meet a lot of these wonderful guys, you know, on the way up, and mostly on the way up, some on the way down. <laughs> but, you know, the idea is that they're all good friends of mine, and, like, they're scattered across the four winds. So, yeah. you know, he'll be in one part of town. Ray will be somewhere else. Uh, we'll have Robert Zapata in another area. Right. We have all the usual suspects all scattered to the four winds. And I want to be able to cover all these events, but you can only be one right, place at right. a time, man. Well, see, cl being close to El Monte, Hacienda Heights is right down the street. So if you guys want to go hang out Saturday night, it's an $8 cover charge. Come and hang out and be dancing all night to Rocky Padilla. Well, there you go. See, and this guy's going to help us out, too, in El Monte. Yes, he says yes. he's going to try to come down for this event, and he can help, you know, help, help out because Ray's going to bring East Los. Right. So, you know, we have that, and we're going to have the Impulse Band, courtesy of Mark Lopez. Oh, nice. So, you know, we want to have a nice event to honor the American Legion Hall, which, like I said, was the birthplace for a lot of the East Side Sound. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, now it's a post office. But, uh, right. <laughs> you know, typical, <laughs> right? Let's get rid of it. You know. <laughs> want to remember. Let's remember Almani. Memories of Almani. Let me get a postage stamp. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> this is the way we do it. Okay, well, then we want to thank you, Rocky. You're going to do a few more numbers for us, I hope? If it's okay, yes. We'd love great. to have you. We'd love to have you. Let's a round of applause for Rocky Padilla and his family. Thank you. Thank you. American Legion, Hassan Heights, post 75, Saturday. Okay, let me get uh, the B-roll of Dorian. That was that uh, brave young man who has uh, cancer. They had an event over at uh, Almani High School this past Friday, uh, honoring him and also honoring, uh, was it Childhood uh, Cancer Awareness Month? So we have to let people know. And this kid, he's awesome. We had him on our show a couple of weeks ago. Uh, bravest little thing I've ever seen. And, oh, you know, wow. and, and he loved my jokes so much he fell asleep. Oh, so, you know, is. we can tell the kid has taste. <laughs> okay, uh, so, you know, if we can roll that uh, B-roll. DVD. Oh, oh cool. We're going we're gonna to run it up. Oh, great. We bring Thank up you here. so much. Okay. Is a gift for Dorian from the Boo Foundation. Here you go, Dorian. <laughs> And because we know what it's like and the family, amen, has to go through things themselves when they're in this kind of situation, we're going to give his brother and his sister a couple of gifts if they're here. One's in the locker room and the other one's uh, somewhere else, so why don't we just give them a hand clap because they'll get their gifts tonight. And then on top of that, thank you Leo, on top of that, we want to bless Caesar, right? Caesar, come on, give Caesar a hand clap. We came to, to do one, but we had enough to do two, so come on, give him a hand clap. We want to bless him with a hundred dollar Toys R Us gift certificate from the Boo Foundation to go and buy some games or whatever he likes doing best. And also, there's a hundred dollars cash in there, so be careful, okay? And there's another certificate in there where he can go out and spend him and go buy some tacos or whatever he likes. You like tacos? And we'll go have tacos after. Okay. How many of you like tacos? Here's Dorian's sister. Come on, Jordan. Let's give Jordan a hand clap. Come on, little Jordan. This is Dorian's sister. We're going to give her a gift. I just want to encourage you tonight, crowd, that, you know, together we can do more. How many of you agree? Give a hand clap. Amen. Together we can do more. You'll be seeing a lot more about the bone marrow that we're going to be doing because a lot of the Raza and the Latin community don't know about bone marrow. So we're going to be going around to schools, to car shows, and just uh, getting more donors for bone marrow because they, you can make a difference, you can save a life, and that's what we're here for, to help save lives in any situation that comes. So we have one more gift, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, am I on that camera? They keep changing. I feel like I'm playing, you know, watching a tennis game here. Okay, that was a little clip, like I said, of Dorian. And uh, our heart goes out to him because he just went through an MRI. I think it's coming up. And we're hoping for positive results for him and his family. Lovely people, salt of the earth. And, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to them. And hopefully, like I said, we want to see Dorian around for a lot more Christmases. He's a sweet kid and we love him.
Okay, here from El Monte tonight and Time Warner and the city of El Monte. So, that being said, we have this young man, and I gotta get my crib notes. This is Shane Coleman. How you doing, buddy? A round of applause, please. Oh, what a grip, man. You know, remind me to invite you around Christmas. You know, the, his grip, we can crack walnuts with this guy. But let me tell you, man. Uh, so what's going on, man? What's this, a uh, positive source band? Absolutely. Positive source featured Mr. Rocky Padilla. Uh, How convenient. <laughs> yes. I and sense conspiracy, children. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, this uh, universal language called music, uh, just interfacing with so many other musicians and you know, we, we do funk, old school, R&B, Latin, soul, and I must say Rocky Padilla is definitely the poster child of, of Latin soul. He's got so much soul in his voice. Uh, when we get a chance to play uh, and interface, we take people back in time. You know what I mean? You hear some of those songs, it takes you back to when you were in high school with that, that new love. Uh, you know, jumping the fence at Rosa and You know what I'm saying? Those days. <laughs> <laughs> Comes the principal quick. <laughs> <laughs> I tore many a good shirt that way, but anyway. <laughs> no, but that's the idea. You know, you want to send people on a voyage, if you will, you know, of memories and what's going on. So, you know, we, it's, it's really nice that you guys do that kind of stuff. So this is an event you guys are doing for what? Uh, um, the veterans? This is a, or at the veteran location? Is that what's happening? Well, actually, we, we do a host of different things. We have a, also a nonprofit group called Heroes of Life, and we teach youth and young adults, especially the troubled youth, music production, Beautiful. video production. Uh, we do a host of concerts, and I've most recently taken the seat of the president of the Optimist Club. So we're also supporting the Children's Cancer Camp, uh, foster youth, and things of that nature. And, uh, and Ray, that just left a little while ago, he's come out to speak to our youth. Rocky's got a, a gigantic heart as well. So, you know, it's just really cool just bringing people together and um, people giving up their time because, you know, even when you go to help somebody, it's costing that person and fuel or whatever to get Oh, yeah, there. Well, so, no, no, of course. Know, outside of time, uh, I think it's a beautiful thing that they give. But they, you know what? There's a love fest going here. I feel like I should leave the room. <laughs> he, called, Bubbles. he said, Rock. Bubbles. I know. <laughs> it, it's complicated. Go to my Facebook. Because, <laughs> you know, cause, you know he, he called Rocky the poster child. Yeah. He's got a big heart. I expect I'd hold out for flowers, Rocky. <laughs> Seriously, I'd hold out for flowers. So, man, no, that's beautiful what you guys are doing, man. So, wow, man, do you think you ever, we could ever get your band to come on down our show and do oh, a number? We, we would love to do it. Uh, yeah. You know, we've been in the San Fernando Valley for so long. We definitely like to branch out and interface with some of the other artists that are on this side of town. Well, you know that uh, Amani is the Beverly Hills of uh, the San Gabriel Valley. So, <laughs> so people love coming down here, man. They love it so much they don't leave. Beautiful thing. No, it's, it's nice. It's a wonderful community, and people enjoy that. And this kind of music, they just eat it and gobble it up like cotton candy. So, we, no, we'd love to have you go on down there. So, how do we get, what are we looking for? When's the next concert? What time? Say it again. Where are we? Well, uh, currently, we, the, the next large concert is going to be the Bacoima Christmas Parade and Festival. Uh, we are working with Rocky on doing the show, hopefully coming up in November. Uh, you know, it's still in the making, but um, through Rocky, we, we are looking forward to coming to this side of town and, and putting it down with the funk and old school. There you go, man. Can I have said it better myself? Now, I understand that you guys conveniently brought a video. Yeah. Just happen to have it. Just happen to have it on me. Yeah, Bam. we're going to run it right now while they're on a roll. Yeah. I tell you, conspiracy, folks. <laughs> okay, who shot Kennedy, man? What did you do with Hoffa? Tell me. Keep it down. <laughs> Let me get a, can we get a little monitor out here? Let's see if we can turn the monitor up.
Okay, man, that's some good <laughs> stuff. Let's round of applause for that, man. That's some oh, dynamite man. music. <laughs> My goodness gracious, man. This is some good stuff, man. You guys are out there. So when, how do people get a hold of you? Is there a number? Yeah, it's uh, 818-256-6209. Or you can always hit my boy Rocky up, and, uh, you know, that's our go-to guy. Yeah, but he brings people like Rick out here on with him and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go oh, down dude. that path again. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's so sorted. It's so sorted. I tell you, man. And then, then there'll be flowers for everybody. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, but he's the hardest working guy. No, but he has the biggest heart. No, but he's the poster child. He's... <laughs> you guys are crazy. So you guys, the I got a note here from uh, one of our audience attendees. We got to mention the fact that all these events, including the band that's going to be there for Almonte's uh, Arceo Park, Memories of Almonte, are courtesy of Mark and Mariana of M and yeah. Event Entertainment. Right. And is there a number, Mark? Watch him say six. Three one zero. 482-9983. Okay, so you guys want to contact them for some real great talent, man. They really are right in the thick of it, and they make a great tag team. I'm so jealous. That's why he's not coming up here. But anyway, <laughs> no, but it's great, man. Well, you know what? I want to thank you for coming on the on the, on the the realm. Well. Yeah. And uh, like I said, whenever you get a chance, check out Positive Source Band featuring, of all people, Rocky Padilla. Oh, man. The, the man with the big heart. <laughs> Small wallet, but big heart. <laughs> but, we, but we love them all. All right, let's have a round of applause for this young man. Yeah. I'll tell you, this has been a blockbuster show. So we're going to take it away with Rocky while we get up our, our next, and I believe our last uh, guest. We also want to remember Gus. What's your last name? Becerra. We have this beautiful artwork behind you done by Gus Becerra. And... This is some pretty stuff, and he'll give us a number before the end of the show, right? So people get a hold, and he'll be coming to our show later on with more of his artwork here on Almani tonight. Take it away, Rocky. All right, I'd like to also say you can get a hold of me at my website, www.rockypadiamusic.com, and you can get all the bands that I play with as well as coolbreezeband.com. So it's rockypadiamusic.com. You want my love and you can't deny You know it's true but you try to hide Yeah You turn down love like it's really bad yeah. You can't give what you never had yeah. Well, bless your soul, you can pull a few the truth now so do you oh, oh. you can hide and I bet ya oh I bet ya you want my love and I bet ya Pretend there's nothing there Girl, I look in your eyes and see you can't help So why not stop trying to run and hide You won't find out If you never try with age and his heart gets bigger and bigger do i get flowers too okay <laughs> i tell you okay next to me is young man allow him to introduce himself and where he's from uh hi my name is chris trevia i'm the president of the new Bain foundation for literature and the arts i am a resident of whittier california but i have uh, roots out in east la a graduate of garfield high school oh, well, let's not mention that <laughs> yeah, proud bulldog pride uh, but uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've uh, made it my life's mission to develop the art scene out here in uh, the San Gabriel Valley, starting with El Monte. 
And to my left are two very talented artists, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Yes, please do that. Hey, thank you, Chris. Uh, I'm Art Lopez. I'm the owner of Arte Cabatura Studio in La Puente. Um, I'm somewhat of a new resident in San Gabriel Valley, so I'm trying to bring the arts over to uh, San Gabriel Valley. Well, we want to bring you to Almani. Oh, well, you know. We'll That's why you're not, you're not leaving after this. Yeah. <laughs> we, we let Ray Cario and take your car keys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he was in a hurry to leave. <laughs> and, uh, my name is Chris uh, Pinauber, uh, otherwise known as Cake Shop. Um, owner, artist, woodworker, curator at uh, Cake Shop Oddities. I'm also in line with these gentlemen to bring um, art and culture to the San Gabriel Valley in general. Um, I'm originally from East LA. I've been in La Puente for about uh, 11, 12 years. And I just can't, can't wait to you know, bring, it bring, bring it over here to, to the Alamani area. Yeah, just bring it. Yeah, just, just bring, bring it. it. I just can't wait to bring it. <laughs> well, that's you, you couldn't figure that out, man. Yeah. So, you know, as an organization, Nube, we've been around since 1995. Uh, we started as an online magazine. Uh, the founder of Nubain was Enrique Diaz. He was a, a sailor, um, and he uh, started a nonprofit that gave out scholarships for students that uh, want to go into college for the arts. We still do that. We actually have a scholarship application open uh, period open right now from August 31st to December 31st. So if you want to go into theater, dance, music, uh, production, stage, journalism, poetry, uh, anything that's art related and involves you going to any college. We have a scholarship, so check us out online. Um, we also offer programs. We have one coming up. It's our uh, Dia de los Muertos event right here in the Valley Mall. Uh, it'll be October 27th. It'll be from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, we'll feature ballet folklorico, mariachi, uh, poesia, poetry. Uh, we'll also have um, conjuntos uh, and, and face painting. And I'll let these gentlemen also talk about some of the artwork that we'll have display on that day. Uh, well, I'm going to be participating in the event uh, as far as uh, creating a Day of the Dead art installation in one of your uh, designated areas there. I got scared so when he said, I'm going to start creating the dead. I uh, wasn't sure well, who he was going to I kind of do that, yeah. <laughs> okay. so, here's one of my figures. Um, okay. Just an example of where I'm going to be having uh, on display at one of the, uh, at, at for an installation. So I'm going to be creating uh, Thank ten, you, Vanna. 10 large life-size characters. Um, like these on display. Life size? Yeah, life size. Like real size? Like real size. Like, like, take like Rocky Padilla <laughs> size? <laughs> 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 okay, the show's over. Yeah. Need more newspaper. <laughs> yeah. But I don't see his heart. No. <laughs> <laughs> too big. It's too big. Yeah. This is what I'm going to have. Uh, hopefully, everybody comes out and checks it out. And um, uh, thank you, Chris Revia, working with Nuvain, uh, really brought this out and um, bringing the art out to the San San Gabriel Valley. So. Well, we, we have a nice little art colony here. We have a lot of kids, unfortunately, and you, you all know this. I'm not, you know, I'm preaching the choir. But, you know, because of cutbacks, because of, you know, recent lack of funding, the arts have suffered yeah. horrendously. And we're talking about all the arts, you know, the musicians, the, you know, like I said, the dancers, the people that perform, people that actually paint, you know, all these arts have suffered tremendously. So by bringing people stepping up like these fine young men and this organization coming out there and bringing that, uh, you know, information and that kind of talent out there and, and cultivating it hopefully they can fill the gap at least somewhat you know and we appreciate you helping out here in Almani so you know I, I want to hear the, the the other Chris is waiting to say something yeah, well, he goes uh, 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 that, that was a nice that was a nice yeah. that was a nice segue because I'm actually um, curating the art the art event uh, the art show event uh, Palm Court at the Dia de los Muertos and we actually got a write up today today's uh, Mid Valley News so I want to give a big shout out to them. Mid Valley School. Um, I'll be curating the art show um, at Palm Court, and we'll be including some of the local, um, local school artists, you know, school age artists. Good. As well as the region's fine. I mean, I got, I got artists from Chatsworth, Northridge, uh, Pomona, Riverside. So they're 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 all just. No, we don't care about them. It's Almani, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm Chats. From Hi, I'm from Chatsworth. Yeah, locals from Almani, but I mean, the, the, the no, did the you say locals or locals? Well, both. <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> okay, I want to, I want to but, qualify the statement here. The fact here. is, like, like people are from, from other regions were were down for the cause. You know what I mean? And, That's important. And just the fact that it's a centennial year makes it even a more of a historical event. Well, that's what we, you know. What we got going, you know, we have uh, we're doing a lot of good celebrations. Not to tell tales out of school but Ray Carion <laughs> will, will probably be again. at our our centennial celebration 
he found a way to weasel his way in on that one too. <laughs> I had no choice. I go, oh man. He's been dried out for two years. Huh? Yeah, he's been. It was part of a plan, you know. Him and him and Rocky go in the basement somewhere. Hey, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, but that's great, man. I just wanted to add that. Uh, among the different events that we do, our biggest event has always been Day of the Dead. Uh, the, we had the first one in 2010 that had about 3,500 gente come out, and that was great. Last year, um, I was the MC for that event. I recently became uh, involved and then became the president of the foundation, and that event had 5,000. So this year, we're looking to have at least seven to eight, and then next year, we're, looking, we're aiming for 10. So it's just growing, and, and the, the, the exciting part about running an organization See, this is not my full-time gig. My full-time gig, I'm a social worker. I'm a social worker. Okay, for, get off the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking this guy is all into, he's an artist, you know, he's, you don't have a big heart. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm a social worker for special needs kids and their families. Okay, I take it back. Yeah. Got, gotcha. <laughs> no, uh, and then I do this on the side, and, and the thing is, just like in social work, as in advocating for the arts, you have to realize that we all have unique gifts and talents, and for the light of, for the lack of light in this world, because this world is increasingly dark, not that that's a bad thing, but when it, we increasingly close our doors and really not let other people kind of see what we have inside, we close communication. Music t tends to bridge that gap because it, it forces itself into our ears, inspires us. Theater inspires us. You know, you get inspiration from different places. And some of these gentlemen I would have never met without actually trying to build communities. Uh, some of the events that we do is including an art walk that we have in La Puente. Uh, that's why these gentlemen are here. Uh, the day they walked day. over here? Uh, they walked over here. Yeah. Actually, I saw them on Valley Boulevard. Yeah, <laughs> there uh, I picked them up <laughs> along the way. Yeah, yeah. Not on that side of Valley Boulevard. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's more like... They're on the bad side, yeah. yeah. That's more towards Holt Avenue. That's, that's <laughs> another story. Yeah. No no, right. yeah, 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 yeah. So, no, I mean, just... And then we're having... Actually, I just... I heard you say you're a comic book buff. We're having a comic book expo next year. We're relaunching it in Bowen Park. June Sounds good. 13th. So we got a lot of stuff going on. Check us out at newvein.org. Because I have a Chicano superhero I created back in 73. And eventually you guys will get a chance to see it. Nice. And you should meet our, our board member, Javier Hernandez, the creator of El Muerto. Oh, that sounds great, man. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to check that out, man. You know, I, he's not anything like uh, Lalo, right? Because that guy drove me he's, he's, he's friends with Lalo. He's friends with a lot I of people. I him in the market. It was scary. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> he drew, actually, he drew. He designed the, the, the flyer here. No, he's a good guy. I'm just teasing. We're still trying to get him on the show. Let me tell you, man. No, I was I was very fortunate because uh, I uh, learned learned my skill from very very many talented artists and cartoonists. I was very fortunate. With